Have you ever contemplated the mysteries of the end times as written in the ancient texts of the Bible? If so, you're no stranger to the complexities and enigmas that they present. The Bible, a book seeped with rich history, profound wisdom, and divine prophecies, offers us glimpses into the future and what might come at the end of times. Among its many captivating chapters, Revelation 9 stands out. It sparks curiosity, stir thoughts, and often leaves one in awe or at times in confusion. It is a chapter that brings forth a kaleidoscope of interpretations and theories. This is largely because Revelation 9 is not your typical passage. It's steeped in symbolism and can be quite a challenge to decipher. This chapter is encapsulated within the Bible's prophetic literature, a genre known for its distinct imagery and metaphorical language. Its position in the New Testament gives it a significance that many biblical scholars and theologians have come to appreciate. The chapter of Revelation 9 is a part of the seven trumpets that are sounded by seven angels, a celestial orchestra that ignites an unfolding series of events. These events are fascinating, profound, and some might even say, a little intimidating. They echo the divine message of God's ultimate plan, encapsulating the essence of the divine judgment, mercy, and the power of the Creator. Each trumpet heralding a different event, a different revelation, creating a mosaic of divine orchestration, a symphony of end times. Yet this chapter is often overlooked. It's not given the attention it deserves, and this absence of focus tends to obscure its profound implications. Have you ever wondered about the significance of Revelation 9 in the grand scheme of these prophesied events? It's a chapter that's often overlooked, yet it holds profound implications for our understanding of the end times. Let's delve into the intriguing world of Revelation 9. This chapter is a part of the Bible's prophetic literature, embedded in the last book of the New Testament. It's a part of seven trumpets that are sounded by seven angels, and the events that follow are indeed quite mesmerizing. The fifth angel sounds his trumpet, a powerful and divine call that reverberates through the cosmos. There, in the midst of the heavens, a star, sparkling with an ethereal intensity, begins its descent. However, this is no ordinary star. It is a symbol, an allegory, representing a celestial being, an angel, wrenched from the splendor of heaven and sent spiraling down to the mundane confines of earth. As it a trail of divine energy follows, illuminating the night sky in a spectacle of otherworldly beauty. As it meets the earth, a transformation occurs. This celestial body, once an angel, now a fallen one, is bestowed with an immense responsibility. It's not a punishment, rather. It's a testament to the powers vested in this entity. Granted the key to the bottomless pit, the angel embarks on a mission fraught with significance. Turning the key, he opens the pit, revealing an abyss, a realm beyond human comprehension, teeming with forces terrifying and awe-inspiring. From this abyss, a horde, a vast multitude of locusts emerges swarming in a dark cloud that blots out the sun. However, these are not your typical locusts that plague the fields of farmers. No, these creatures are of a supernatural origin, entities imbued with a power akin to that of scorpions. They darken the skies, their wings beating in an ominous rhythm, their mission clear and terrible. They are to torment the inhabitants of the earth, the ones who do not bear God's seal on their foreheads. Then we witness the sixth trumpet's blast, which releases four angels bound at the great Euphrates River. The trumpet's sound echoes through the heavens, penetrating the silence with an ominous note of terror and dread. Suddenly, the Euphrates' placid waters churn violently, whipped into a frenzy, as if the very bed of the river is rebelling against its natural state. From its depths emerge four angels, their forms shimmering with an otherworldly light. They were once restrained, kept in check beneath the river's surface by divine decree. Now their bonds have been shattered, their power unleashed on an unsuspecting world. Their mission is somber, to bring about the end of a third of mankind. It's a grim task, but one they are compelled to fulfill without question or hesitation. With a deafening roar, and of horsemen springs forth, their numbers so vast that they seem to blot out the horizon. 